All right, so this is going to be a little bit of a follow-up video. I screen capped some of these posts here. It looks like uh, those wankers that uh, accosted me on the street the other day, those and COVID Tifa masked adorned wankers, concealing their identity, using the COVID thing, the COVID ruse, as a thinly veiled premise to conceal their identities and screw with me on the streets. Looks like he uh, found the video and he started posting about it. And uh, I found some violent ideation and some very interesting lies. So I decided to screen cap a few of them. I'm going to go at, over a few of them with you all today. But uh, So Thomas Needham Johnson III says, I'm in a Dan D video today. Ha <laughs> ha, laugh, react. Ha <laughs> ha, laugh, react. Yeah. Thomas, you would need Handsome Johnson, wouldn't you? <laughs> you would need Handsome Johnson. Uh, let's see. So let's see. Let's go through a few of these fucking... Zachary Moffat says, Seems like he was lucky. It was just some verbal harassment. Definitely needs an ass-kicking. He really free, yeah. Whole spiel ready. You're a Marxist, dude. Like, whole spiel ready for me, even though he has no idea. I know that you're an Antifa agitator who goes around, like priding yourself on, like, so-called punching so-called Nazis or whatever. Uh, you weren't going to punch me, though, because you know exactly what the hell would happen. You know exactly what I would do to your pot-bellied ass if you tried some shit like that. And that's why I told you off when you screwed with me. But hold on, let me, let me, just, let me just show you the video if you haven't seen it yet. Can you stop being violent? Like, hold on, hold on. I was basically just, like, walking down the street on my way to get some groceries. If you haven't seen this video already, it's on my channel. But I noticed these guys mugging me from, like, a block away. And uh, one of them motioned to, him, to the other, and he busted out his phone like he was about to snap a photo of me or something. Before he could do it, I basically just, like, tried to disarm him with kindness. And I said, good afternoon, gentlemen. You'll hear it. You'll hear it in this video. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Stealing your identities. Being able to conceal your identities no matter what. Antifa? How's it going, dude? Antifa? Can you stop being violent and spreading, like, riots? Racial... See, I don't think they can stop being violent and harassing people and starting riots because it's sort of what the bankster class and the corporate class have brainwashed them into doing. You know, Amazon's dropping $10 million on Black Lives Matter. Facebook, Google, Netflix, Twitter, all support Black Lives Matter. Chase Bank. Bank of America. I mean, all my viewers are smart enough to know that BLM is basically an astroturfed, heavily corporate funded street thug shakedown for cash to terrorize working class Americans. But I digress. We'll continue. Discontent, discontent in our society, please. Can you stop doing that, please? Do me a favor. Stop talking shit about middle American white Good people. Job, dude. What? Good job, dude. Good, good job, dude. What? Exactly. Nice faded tattoos, yeah. Nice, uh, concealing your face so you can accost me on the street. Scumbag. Good job. Oh, scumbag. Go fuck yourself. Bourgeois upper middle class prick playing bourgeois upper middle class. Bougie! Yeah, so here I, I got extra pissed and I took the clandestine cam out of the side of my backpack to, like, really engage with him. Because they wouldn't stop talking shit and just lying, you know. The upper middle class pieces of shit playing bougie upper middle class games. That's all you fucking are. That's all you fucking are. That's yep. all you are. Take off your mask, dude. You want to talk some shit to me? Take your mask off. Yeah, pretty chad of me if I don't, don't say so myself. I mean, these guys are just, like, absurd, dude. Watch him take off his mask. Like, Suck my dick, dude. Yeah, suck my dick. So he takes his mask off, it revealing that the entire pretense of, like, wearing this to prevent the spread of disease is completely for naught. It's just for virtue signaling. And so people can see him wearing the mask and see how great of a person he is. You know, this is, this right here is Thomas Needham Johnson. Very much needs a Johnson. He's got an insatiable fucking hunger for his pot belly and everything. Look at it. This, 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 this display of weakness it makes me sick that this is just your average man in society today. But we'll continue. That's homophobic. Yeah, because he, he, he told me to suck his dick, so I'm going to, like, throw it back in his face. Homophobic, dude. We're going to cancel you now. Oh, let's cancel this guy. Let's cancel him. Cancel culture, dude. Colluding with the fucking owner class to get working class people fired. Yeah. Yeah, we love that, don't we? 
We love that, don't we? Get the fuck out of my town, motherfucker. You guys suck. Accosting me on the street. Accosting me on the street with your cowardly ass fucking masks. Go fuck yourself. Got him. Yeah, I did get them. Like, I told the truth about them as they do nothing but lie about me and people like me, you know? Um, and then I think I, I couldn't quite hear it. The only thing I heard at this point, you'll kind of hear it maybe. He goes like, we know all about you. We know where you're from. And then he proceeds to be wrong about where I'm from. Uh, oh, yeah, where am I from? Yeah, you done your homework, bag. Where am I from, huh? You done your homework. Got these motherfuckers on, got their faces, got, got them. Yeah, so, you know, I tag why not to Tavern just at the off chance that they understand, like, how disgusting of an encroachment these types of people are, you know. But, I, I mean, chances are that, you know, like most businesses, they're succumbing to the BLM terrorizing, or, you know, the BLM street terrorism, the Antifa street terror nonsense that is being funded by corporate America is being funded by the capitalist class, the bankster class. And I mean, basically what we have in America today is capitalists parasiting off the working class so that Marxists can parasite off of their parasitism and get deployed into the street to go screw with people. Like it's just one big convoluted control matrix and it's really fucking stupid and fucked up. And, uh, <laughs> okay. So basically, hold on a second. What happened to that? What happened to that? I'm on my Discord right now. It's basically talking with all my uh, folks about it. But, uh, let's see, let's see. What the hell? What happened to all that? Uh... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's on my Telegram, which you should also follow. T.me slash Durst the Worst. But yeah, I mean, so he posts about it pretty much immediately because these guys are like fame-hungry dweebs. They don't want to admit it, that that's how superficial they are. But... So we have the violent ideation from Zachary Moffat, as I said before. Um, yeah, he admits Thomas need ham a Johnson. He needs three Johnsons in his ham, I guess. Uh, I called him a piece of shot, and I had launched into his speech about us being Marxist suburbanites. It's like, yeah, that, that's what you are. Um, talk about a weak mind, whack as hell. If only the verbs were full of Marxists, laugh my ass off. Yes, they are, dude. They're full of far left, bougie, sort of sheltered idiots who would never dream of living around a minority, like majority minority area. And a few of you burnouts who have failed to live up to your parents' success in life, you move into the cities to virtue signal about how woke you are, how much you hate your parents, right? How much you resent your parents, how much you resent capitalism, even though you, you know, are brainwashed by corporate media narratives and you think stupid things as a result of it. Um, yeah, let's see, let's see. Then Jay Marshall says, how has nobody fucked this idiot up yet? I get that he's a phone out, probably lawsuit type, but people swipe phones all the time. This is a weird era. Somebody get this idiot his meds, then swap them. Uh, Thomas Need Ham in his booty 30 times said, uh, someone did something to him recently and he's on high alert. I don't really know exactly what that means. I mean, these people are just always kind of screwing with me in dishonest, duplicitous, sadistic ways. But, you know, we got violent ideation from Jay Marshall and just flat out saying that people should, uh, grab my phone so that I don't have a way to record them assaulting me. So there's that. There's other people like saying like masks up. You know, that sort of thing. Now here, here, we got this, this chick. I've talked to this girl before in tandem with my YouTube channel, okay? There was like an anti-abortion uh, protest coming into Milwaukee. At, what was it? Operation Save America was the name of the group. And uh, I came down to record the event, and she happened to be there. And I'd also seen her previously at a, uh, a, uh, what do you call it? A drag queen story hour event. So because of course she supports something like that. Some sort of child grooming, like obvious, like kid diddling, child grooming, Epstein-esque sort of creepazoid fest. But here she lies. He made a whole video of just like stalking me last summer. LOL. He followed me around at multiple protests. Beat that creep with a baseball bat. And this dude, he's just virtue signaling the white knight liar that he is. 
So, like, I now started as an MRA and definitely targets women. Carl us a mapper. Okay, targets women. What does that mean, dude? How you targeted me? Like, what are you talking about? You saw me from a block away and you started talking some shit, dude? After I was polite to you? What exactly are you talking about? It's just like... It's like all these people do is project. Everything that they accuse others of doing is them doing it, right? So let me let me show you the video at least at least a couple minutes of the interaction that this gal, Audrey, claims is stalking, okay? And this is how you know these people are really serious about terms like stalking, you know, harassment, violence, uh, you know, stuff like that. Because they call stuff like this harassment. You got it from your higher powers, though. Well, you can believe that. I believe that I learned it through reading the teachings of, like, Kant and the categorical imperative. You know, like, that's how I formed my mind. It's not based oh my on, God. like, I just thought about it. And so, you know, yeah, well, you know, I'm just here to hang out. I heard about it. and We're not opposing that. We're not no, I know you're that not. You I'm, not conscious... I'm honestly. I'm on not demand. Of... That's what I'm intrigued by. Right. So, I mean, I, I just came here to document the event. I don't think I was aware that she was going to be there. I didn't really enter into my decision either way. Like, she's implying, I guess she's implying that I fuck. like, what is the evidence that I'm stalking you? Like, what a ridiculous claim. It's like, obviously, she's attempting to chime in and be cool and virtue signal about hating the right guy and all that fun stuff. And she's trying to fucking take advantage of the fact that she's a woman and she can fucking incite white knights to go beat me with a baseball bat. And for what? Because I made her look stupid in front of 5,400 people. Like what? Yeah, we'll talk about it. I just, it's just, uh, you know, no, I'm not one of those. You don't like, think that's an entitlement complex on your, your, or your movement's part? I, the sign is just a radical sign. I think but it's not so. It's not literally okay. just like I want this to be on demand, like well, Culver's. I in universal healthcare, so. Um... And abortion is healthcare. <laughs> it's like she just like tacitly admits she doesn't even fucking believe in it, dude. She's trying to be hip and hipster, tattooed. I mean, like hang out with all the cool people who are not cool. They're really fucking grody, sleazy, rapey, disgusting, druggy people, dude. And they all think that they live in a rape culture because their scene is a rape culture. Because they hang out in River West, sort of like... If anybody doesn't know, if anyone's not from Milwaukee, like, River West is like the scuds bag, sort of like hipster, wannabe, bohemian, artsy crowd. It's like the Portlandia crowd. Like, basically, a lot of trust fund kids come from the surrounding counties and burbs, and they come into the city to you know, condescend to the white working class plebes about their privilege. Every, every one of my viewers understands the type of person I'm talking about. But, I mean, it's just funny. Like, she doesn't really believe... No, they don't believe in this crap because all progressives do is lie 100% of the time, without exception. Shout out to Darren Kern. But we'll continue. Yeah, I believe it's the health Okay, well... It is sort of dismembering your kid, you know. Well, it's kind of grody. You can, you can think that, dude. I. But I used to be like pretty much on that side, like throughout my twenties. I was, I was that way. You know, I actually don't think I'll ever have an abortion because I'm privileged enough to have access to reproductive health care. I'm under. <laughs> is that your whole Wait. white privilege? It. To an extent, yeah, because my dad grew up in foster care, but he was still able to, like, secure, and he didn't graduate high school, but he was still able to, you know. <laughs> Your dad was in foster care, didn't graduate high school, didn't take, didn't get to take advantage of, like, you know, uh, you know, feeder busing because he wasn't a fucking ethnic minority. He didn't get to take advantage of all the grants and fucking goodies that minorities take advantage of. And her backwards ass logic is that he's privileged because in spite of not being given all these goodies, like, and being p passed around foster care. And later on, she says that his dad was in like, um, special needs classes and all that stuff. She's saying that he has fucking institutional privilege, like selling out her own father, dude. Let's continue, dude. You know, make a lot of money in a pretty classist racist system. And a lot of time, right, racism stems Wait. A lot of classism and <laughs> she admits that she's of the bourgeoisie, dude. Okay, so her dad, you know, worked hard, rose up, gave her like this up talking, like upper middle class, probably like, oh my god, Kant. <laughs> like, 
let me just make sure I'm okay. Yeah, cool. I'm still recording. Um, despite the fact that my sound is probably terrible, and I apologize for that. I will eventually get a new mic, but it's just like, <laughs> like so many of these poor souls just come into the cities and just get brainwashed, and then they want to beat me with a baseball bat because I'm actually speaking truth to power, and I'm actually attacking the establishment. I'm attacking the bankster class. I'm attacking the corporate class. Big tech Silicon Valley firms that ban right-wingers left and right, not for violating terms of service, but for simply being far right, you know? Like a guy like atheism is unstoppable. He's not even fucking far right-wing and he just got banned the other day. Not for, for violating what? Also, Stefan Molyneux, you could, you could argue Stefan Molyneux is far right, maybe. Uh, he didn't do anything. He advocates not spanking your kid. He advocates the admittedly, albeit stupid, libertarian non-aggression principle, because it doesn't really make any sense. It's incoherent. I get that. But it's still generally like a, an appeal to peace, non-aggression. Um, I don't know. These people hate me because I'm punching up, ironically. Like, it's so bizarre. Do you think he got uh, bossing to a better school, or do you think he was disqualified from no, that? No, he for got being... kicked out of four high schools. <laughs> I'm saying, like, I think you get extra busing and, like, extra programs if you're a POC versus uh, you don't quite get that if you're I disagree. White. I went to an MPS school. I went to Rubik's <laughs> school. <laughs> she disagrees that POC get extra funding and extra programs. This, These people are just, what do you mean you disagree? Like, you disagree with reality? What do you mean? This is what we've taught women. You get to she, they get to disagree with reality. <laughs> they just get to they just get to disagree with it if they want. Their subjective opinion overrides objective fact. Let's continue. International school. There's... That's probably the only good one. Yeah, well, then no, there's Riverside. Okay, Riverside is good. Riverside's fine. You know. I don't know. Whatever. Let's see. I want to go back to the the screen caps of the dude. Whoops, clicking around. Yeah, whoops, scroll back through. Uh, Jay Marshall, this horrible. Yeah, then John Trusky closing it out with, I see nothing a pair of cinder blocks and a river can't fix. And they're all, yeah, I hear nothing, I see nothing, I know nothing. Yep, these guys are definitely just absolutely psychotic. Violent corporate emboldened evil disgusting psychos who do nothing but lie and destroy compulsively like that's all they do you know i went to school i detest to get into it and probably the only reason i got in was because i went to a suburban uh catholic parochial like middle school and so i got probably a better education than most mps students did do you think it's because they skip school a lot? They don't really have dads in the home because feminists encouraged uh, to the destruction of the nuclear think, family, or no? I don't think feminists, to, like, discourage. They explicitly do. Well, they do. Marxists nice, and... That's not why, that's not why there's currency issues and there's not fathers in the home. A large Incentivizing single motherhood with uh, extra programs. Or because... Yeah, like, incentivizing single motherhood with the welfare state. I mean, that exacerbates an already existing... Uh, problem that is endemic to their community um but she doesn't seem to think that that's true i guess she's talking she's just going to be like oh well it's because of the prison industrial complex i haven't watched this video in a while but i seem to remember that's what she said implying that like the 70 percent single motherhood rate amongst the lakes is due to basically they're going to argue that 70 percent of the fathers are in jail which is not true it's definitely not true they're just knocking up multiple women and not paying child support. Like, it's as simple as that, dude. Like, the fucking CIA brought drugs into the hood in the fucking 1980s. <laughs> Ricky like, Ross, dude. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah, dude, like, the CIA did that. Okay, well, they marketed coke to uh, white people as well, and uh, by all accounts, white people were not cooking it into crack rock to make it easier to distribute and make more cash off of it. Um... By all accounts, they weren't doing that as much. And if they were, they weren't doing it out in the open and they weren't doing it like on the street corner. You know, they weren't uh, getting caught as easy, I guess, you know. And also, I mentioned Freeway Ricky Ross. You know, does he have any agency in the situation at all? Canards. These are all canards. I'm not did Did Ricky Ross have any agency in the situation at all? Do you I, think? 
like, I just, uh, the mass incarceration of, like, black males is a lot responsible for the destruction of the nuclear family. What is mass? Oh, my, so, yeah, it, it's predictable as the rising sun. They use a fucking buzz term, like, mass incarceration. Doesn't make any sense, dude. It, it, dude, it's like they commit crimes and they go to jail. I think I heard a wise man once say, and I'm going to butcher this quote, but blaming jails and police for prisons or, you know, jails and prisons being full would be like walking outside during a rainstorm, observing that the pavement is wet and then blaming the pavement for being wet rather than the rainstorm or, or like the hose or the sprinkler or whatever, right? Like it's just total backwards ass logic. And you can tell given that she sidesteps all my questions, all my arguments, whatever, and goes on her own spiel, you can tell it's like she doesn't, I don't know, she, she doesn't really believe in this stuff. She's just trying to, oh, God damn it, she's trying to fit in. But anyway, these people, like, they want me dead, or at least they're talking about how they want me dead. And why? Because I record leftists being horrible. And, like, it's because I tell the truth about them as they lie about me. It's basically what we're looking at. So I just kind of wanted to get that off my chest real quick and just... God damn, dude. <sighs> anyway, uh, follow me on Telegram. Follow me on t.me slash Durst the Worst, please. And uh, send me Bitcoin and subscribe star donations. Follow me on Parler. Follow me on BitChute. Follow me on Minds and Gab and Library. Ditch big tech Silicon Valley bullshit because it is just that. I mean, they're going to ban us all like right before the election anyway. I can feel it. So... I don't know. Follow me on all that stuff. Give me money and uh, subscribe.